This is, this is an orthokeratology case where the patient has been wearing lenses for a few years and now is experiencing some residual myopia. Uh, went through a lens cleaning regimen and that didn't really seem to help. And if we look at the post-wear topographies, this is uh, the ones from the most recent examination. Uh, compared to the ones from a year ago, average case essentially are, are fairly um, even. So I, I definitely have seen patients where uh, deposits and buildup on the lenses have reduced how much treatment they're getting. Uh, but in this case, the patient looks like she's getting still the same amount of treatment, and uh, but residual myopia, so I think the uh, patient probably just progressed a little bit axially uh, with myopia. So we do want to redesign lenses, and I believe the question is if we want to make some changes to the design of the lens, should we um, start with previous lenses or start over? And uh, I believe there was some updates to WAVE in between the current time and when the lenses were first designed. So um, I'm on WAVE 7.6 right now. I have not updated to the newest version because uh, most people are still using 7.6. And I am presume that's what you're using. Um, I honestly have not looked at the 8.0 version. So if you are using that, um, I don't know what the differences are. But uh, how I would go about the case is to uh, redesign a new lens, uh, don't change the power, and uh, we want to accommodate for the increased myopia in the power of the lens or the uh, topo demand of the lens itself. In other words, in the right eye, I believe we had a diopter of myopia, residual myopia. So the power of our new lens should be uh, 2.48. And whether that's a GSIM lens or a freeform lens, we just want to increase our target power while maintaining our original baseline refraction. Um, changing the refraction is uh, some, sometimes it works, but sometimes all, all WAVE does is incorporates the new refraction into the front surface of the lens and um, in the back uh, surface doesn't change. So. Uh, that said, we're at 11.1 .1 diameter, 6 and 6.6, 6, 1.48. So I'm going to go to the original topography that was used to design this lens for the right eye. I'm going to choose a new wave lens design. I will create a new lens. But uh, we're not going to start with the previous. And I think you believe, I believe you usually select no, so we'll select no there. And then that was the patient's original refraction. Okay, so now we have a new lens for the right eye to work with. Um, we'll go to Tools and Configuration Settings, and uh, my setting is called Myopic CR, and you would just choose the one that's um, in your menu. And uh, we had zones at, I believe it was 6.0 and 6.6. .6. Um, it looked like you had a little bit more clearance, so I will increase that. I'm not sure what your bevel lift was, but you can duplicate what you had before. And uh, lens thicknesses, ooh, I'm not sure if it'll let me look at the previous one, it won't. So I'm going to guess it's 22 and 30, just like you had for the left eye. In other words, all we're doing is duplicating everything from the original lens. except our target lens power in this case will be around 2.5. And then you can also select your freeform if you want to. And we're going to go with the original diameter of 11.1. .1. So if we hit continue, Let 
need to move this over and we can compare it to the original one. Okay, so now we have a new lens which is uh, in many respects the same as the previous one. We have the same diameter, the same OZ and IC placements for those points. Um, I got the center thickness and edge thickness backwards, so you'll want to make sure. The, the differences are this new lens is in free form and it has um, an increased power, increased topo demand. And you can see that it's a flatter lens, has a flatter base curve. Um, so this should resolve the residual myopia while maintaining the original parameters except for the ones we wanted to change. Um, I don't recommend changing the refraction. We want to make the changes um, down here to the lens power or the topo demand. For the left eye, you can do the exact same thing. I think the left eye had a residual prescription of 0.5, so your new target for the left eye would be plus 1.87 and everything else you can maintain to be the same. So that's how I would keep the same lens parameters except for the increased myopia and hope this works out well for your patient. Thanks for watching.